As Tennessee prepares to play Pitt this weekend, I want to take a few minutes and talk about what we can expect from the Pitt defense and break down some film from last year in 2020 uh, to kind of give us an idea of how Pitt could potentially uh, defend and what kind of scheme they could have against the Tennessee offense and against uh, Joe Milton at quarterback. And so uh, we're going to look at the film from last year just because they played UMass this past week, and so it's probably not a great uh, film to break down of how they're going to defend uh, Tennessee. And so um, we're going to look at film from last year against Louisville. And you're going to see that there's there's it's a different defense or uh, different offense uh, than Tennessee that Louisville runs. But they have some spread tendencies and they do spread the field. So we're going to watch a few plays of their passing downs when they spread the field and how Pitt could potentially guard that. And then we're going to watch kind of more of the traditional offense when they get the ball running. Uh, but I think that's a good job just showing us what you could potentially see. But before we dive into the film, I just want to encourage you all to consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback related content. So again, Let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of the actual film. <clears throat> Excuse me, can't talk. Uh, and so when, when you watch this film, the first few plays, we're going to see kind of two-man high, uh, two high safety with a, a cover two kind of under uh, scheme, and you're going to see the corners play press man. The, nut, the other few clips that we watched, I'm trying to remember, the other few clips that we're going to be watching is going to be kind of one-up top safety, kind of more towards the other safety is going to be more in the box because they're fitting against the run. So I think the keys here are if you get the run game going a little bit, you're going to see there are, there are holes. There's going to be potential. Um, there's going to be potential shots that you can take but I, I think if Tennessee can get the ball going a bit and take some pressure off the passing game I think it's going to be a big um, a, a crucial thing for Tennessee to move the ball successfully and you're going to see their corners Again, uh, I'm speculating off of what we see last year, but I, I think you're going to see your corners play some press man, uh, or at least it wouldn't surprise me, and they're going to kind of challenge your receivers. And so if that's the case, and again, I could be wrong, but if that's the case, you want to be able to take shots and have your guys win downfield. So real quick, let's look at uh, Pitt's defensive stats from last year because uh, they gave up some passing yards. They gave up uh, 246 yards per game, so kind of middle of the pack ACC. But where they really get you are is interceptions. They had 14, uh, which tied the ACC for lead, and they had... 46 sacks which tied the S the ACC as well excuse me uh, they, they they tied with Clemson for interceptions and oh, excuse me can't talk I'm sorry they tied the Clemson for interceptions and sacks in the ACC so it's crucial that Tennessee takes care of the ball and don't take sacks. You're going to see that they're going to try to get pressure. God's going to try to uh to, to kind of mess up the flow of the offensive scheme but <clears throat> If you get the ball out quick, uh, take what the defense gives you, which is going to lead to potential bigger plays, uh, then I think Tennessee could be in a, in, in a position to have success offensively. So let's go ahead and dive into the film real quick and see what Pitt's defense could potentially bring against uh, Tennessee. And again, just to reiterate, I could be completely wrong. It's based off last year, but I think it gives us a decent idea of what we could see uh, this weekend. So here's how I think uh, the Pitt defense would play. Tennessee and that spread attack and and the the videos that we'll watch after this they're going to look a little different um, but this is how I kind of envision a pitch defense playing Tennessee so I think we're going to see man on the corners I think we're going to see press man on the corners something Pitt does a lot I think we're going to have some type of cover two look depending on what the the scheme is or what the offense comes out you might see just one up top safety with a safety cheat over towards like the like example here towards the trip side I think we're going to have some type of two top safety look and I don't, I don't think they're going to get in the box as much as we see in these upcoming videos so I think this is kind of what you can expect if you are a Tennessee fan if you're Joe Milton and with that said, and we'll see in other videos, Pitt's defense is very aggressive here. And I think you'll have some quick quick opportunities in the middle of the field. Now, obviously, this play doesn't call for that. But you still see right here, boom. I guess technically that's middle of the field still. And so the Louisville quarterback is able to hit his receiver there for a good play. Uh, and, and we'll see the, the, uh, the plays after this don't... Uh, aren't all passing plays like this but I think we're gonna have opportunities to take shots here when you have pressed man and then to have quick easy decisions here I think getting Milton start comfortably and kinda of getting these uh, the, these quick easy passes hopefully middle of the field if it's open like this uh, will be good but I do see Pitt uh, trying to, to I, I would imagine them blitzing some trying to get pressure to force bad decisions but again I think there will be some uh, opportunities there to stay in the pocket and make the accurate throw so just like the clip we just watched, uh, we have Louisville all spread out here, right? You have no tight ends. You got one uh, running back and then four receivers here split wide. Trip side here, the safeties kind of cheat over the trip side, but you still have two up top safeties, right? Two safeties that are about 8 to 10, 9 to 10 yards off the line of scrimmage. And then we have press man press man so just to reiterate I think we can take advantage or take advantage you want to at least take shots uh, to potentially tell your receivers hey just got to win these matchups right but it's going to take an accurate throw if that's the case and also another thing to be weary about or to be aware about is the pressure pit can get and I don't know 
who they have returning and how good they are. Uh, but I'm going to assume they're pretty good and they're going to be able to get pressure because of, uh, of what they've done in the past and what they are historically. So be careful with pressure. They're able to get pressure there. Uh, but again, I think this is a defense that you could see uh, face Tennessee. You have two up top safeties, press man, and then just dare Pitt, or dare not Pitt, dare Tennessee to beat them, which I th would not surprise me here. Um, Again, we will see, but just an example here. These next few clips are going to be a little different, but still uh, worth looking at. So here is Pitt against Louisville here, and we're going to see that everyone's manned up here. Uh, even the safety right here is manned up. Uh, the strong safety is, I'm going to count him. I'm going to say he's in the box, even though he's technically outside the box. I'm going to say they got eight guys in the box because they're trying to defend Louisville in the run game. Louisville being more of a, a run attack offense, uh, option offense. And so they're manned up out here. I, I, I don't know if they're going to be exactly like this uh, against Tennessee. Uh, again, this is 2020, take with a grain of salt. But I do think they're going to be pressed up against the receivers and try to challenge the receivers to beat them and force Milton to beat them deep. And so we'll see this is actually a pretty good throw uh, from Louisville's quarterback here. Ends up being a good catch by the receiver. Uh, it, it gets called back, but again, just the example of I think you'll see man on the corners. Uh, you'll probably see a, a little more safety help, I would imagine, against uh, a Tennessee offense, uh, but still I think there'll be opportunities on the outside of the perimeter uh, for Milton to uh, expose, and hopefully the receivers of Tennessee get open and win those matchups. So this looks a little more traditional here. We got two up top safeties, uh, look like probably a cover two here, uh, with maybe a kind of disguised look that Pitt has. But regardless, I want to pay attention to the outside receivers because again, we're locked up man, we're locked up man. So I think there's going to be opportunities again for Tennessee to take advantage of this. And hopefully the re the receivers can uh, beat Pitt's DBs, and if you can get the running game going, I think it's going to open up some quick stuff here as well. But again, this is a little different look, look um, than the other one. Uh, we're going to see. The safety comes over here too, so it's kind of just got one up top safety. Uh, but again, look, we're manned, we're manned. There's opportunities. I believe that the ball is incomplete there. Yeah, but let's watch this, watch, watch this other angle here. So we can see that was actually the right read. The receiver won that. Uh, so again, just being able to, to put, the, put the ball in the receiver's chest here, I think is going to be important because the receivers get open. Pitt's going to be playing close. That's an open receiver, just a missed throw there. Uh, so hopefully uh, Milton and the Tennessee receivers will be able to connect on those type of throws. I think that's going to be available, but it's going to be a tight throw and you're going to need to be accurate to make that type of throw. So one way to get a defense that plays a lot of man, at least in the perimeters, kind of off balance is by a lot of pre-snap motion, pre-snap reach. So we're going to see Louisville do this here. We're going to see them bust a long touchdown run here. But when you get a lot of motion going on, that can be a bit confusing at times for a defense that plays a lot of man. And that can kind of uh, leave uh, assignments, kind of uh, guys missing assignments and leave holes uh, opened up here. So that's what we see here. And again, a little different offense than what Tennessee runs. I know uh, you probably have more in the box than what they will have. I imagine uh, there'll be some more nickel and dime packages for the defense, but still a decent example of playing man and how the run game can potentially be a good go-to if that's what Tennessee desi decides to do. And if they can get, get runs like this going, way to hit the hole, bad angle by the safety. Sorry, no offense, but it is. Uh, if they can get the if they can get the run game going and able to get big long plays like this, that's really going to help open up the passing game and help open up probably a bit more uh, easier throws. Watch this hit, hit this hole right there. Bad angle here, bust up there. Uh, but again, it's kind of that it was that uh, that receiver going in motion that can kind of uh, get the defense just a little on their heels. And then when that happens, uh, the run game is able to bust through like that. So I don't know what Tennessee's game plan is exactly, but again, if they do some pre-motion stuff, they can get the defense out of position. So I'm not going to pr pretend to know. I know all the uh, defense linemen or linebackers for Pitt and who they have coming back, but I know that they'll be well coached, and I, I know that they're probably going to be a pretty stout defense and that the D lineman's going to be able to get pressure here. So it's a run play here that the D line is able to get in the backfield and kind of bust up the run play. So, you know, Tennessee will want to obviously know that the ability is there, and you'll see four guys or three guys get in the backfield with, what, what five, six guys trying to protect. We'll watch this here uh, briefly. Yeah, you got three guys in the backfield here. This guy blows him up here. So knowing that the Tennessee's defense, or not Tennessee's defense, I'm sorry, Pitt's defense is so aggressive, I think you can kind of hopefully get some the screen game going, get some play action going, some bootleg going, uh, which Milton actually does well if they're on the run. So hopefully you can get that that going and use their aggressiveness uh, to your advantage. But they're definitely going to get some plays. They're definitely going to get some tackles for loss. That just kind of comes with playing Pitt and comes with that defense. But you can take their aggressiveness, um, you know, and use it against them at times as well. So again, just to reiterate, this is film from last year. We could see something totally different, but I think it gives us at least an idea of how Pitt's defense and what their tendency 
tendencies are. I think they're going to have some press man. They're going to challenge the receivers, and then they're going to try to get pressure on the quarterback like we talked about earlier in the video. They were tied for uh, number one sacks and interceptions in the ACC last year. So for Tennessee, take care of the ball. Take what the defense gives you. Make quick decisions, but quick, uh, decisive, accurate decisions as well, and get the ball out quickly. Don't hold on the ball too long, and get some short, easy throws. Get the running game going that will set up plays uh, downfield uh, that hopefully Tennessee receivers can win those, those matchups if they are that press man covers. But I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below what do you think Tennessee needs to do to win the game? What are you looking for Joe Milton to do against the Tennessee defense? Let us know in the comments, not the Tennessee defense, against the Pittsburgh defense. Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.